These are stories about my reluctant, and dare I say it, courageous journey into understanding my emotions and what I learned. I'm super grateful for the questions you ask because they're guiding me on this fantastic adventure. This week's topic came from Christy, who wanted to know how to be confident and not insecure, which means this week's topic is, you guessed it, how to be confident and not insecure. In the previous video, I talked about how I got through more through a time where I felt insecure and how I got through it. This video, I'm going to talk about how I felt insecure and started to look for confidence. In the next video, I'll focus on a time where I found confidence. And in the next video, we'll meditate. And in the last video, we're going to, which I call lovingly the Friday or the Friday Diddy, I bring it all together and get a little more poetic and a little bit nerdy to make sense of the journey. All the videos will appear in the playlist, how to be confident and not insecure. So if you have a question like Christy did, comment below or DM me on Instagram. I'm Angela and this is me making sense of myself. So when is a time that I felt insecure and started to figure out how to be confident? <clears throat> I am reminded of when I was becoming a, um, a mortgage broker. And I was told by a, a neighbor down the street that I needed to join the Chamber of Commerce. And I would get nervous if, around people, or maybe I was just nervous to be um, in a crowd of business people when I didn't feel like a business person. I was super insecure. I didn't feel like I had enough knowledge. Um, and you know, how dare I walk into this, this event. And so as I'm walking up, I mean, this is in an old, they held the meetings in this little village off the beaten path and in the old clubhouse that had been around for many, many years. And I'm walking up this hill, which is literally also what it felt like emotionally. Like I was walking up this hill into this this environment where I knew only one person and to top it off I was supposed to go around and introduce myself to all of these people and tell them what I do and here I am I don't feel like I fully understand how to be a mortgage broker at that time and that was what I was learning I didn't feel confident in talking to people and I wasn't even sure if I knew how to network properly I had no <laughs> idea. But nevertheless, I go into this meeting and, you know, because I wanted to be successful. I wanted to, this was something I wanted to do, not necessarily like the people, but I wanted to be successful at what I was doing as far as my business. And I knew that in order to do that, I had to somehow bridge the gap between my insecurity and, um, my ability to connect with others. So I went to these, the, the meeting and I remember the very first one and I sat at the table and I remember two specific people being at that table. One of them, my friend Cammie and the other one, Dustin, and we were all three new and we were all three, I think, well, I felt like we were all young, but none of us knew what we were doing. And so we just, we talked to each other and then we, we tried to, to, bridge out and talk to other people. And I, I remember my, my armpits being drenched um, when I left there because I was really stepping out of my comfort zone. And I thought, okay, you know what? I really need to do something so that I can start feeling more confident. So I actually... I can't remember exactly when it was. I, it wasn't immediate because I had to build my business so I could have money to do things with. But it was later that I was still getting nervous. I mean, this was probably even just a year, still a year or, or so later. And I still was feeling insecure. Although I had made, had business with people, I had talked to people, I had started maybe building some of that confidence. But I needed, I remember, I needed to change. And I was still thinking, I'm not good at connecting. In fact, I think still to this day on some level, I think I'm not good at connecting. So 
I actually started taking classes about how to connect and how to negotiate and I just kept doing my best and that was really important to me to start figuring out how I could become more confident in what I was doing. And the interesting thing is, I still get nervous till this day. And I'm wondering if that might be a good thing because I genuinely care about connecting with the people I'm talking to and making sure that I'm putting all of my attention into the conversation. And I'm also, I also know I'm not 100% good at it. So sometimes you'll catch me at a bad moment and I won't be able to do that because I've got too many other things on my mind but figuring out what I can do. So for instance, even today, I'm, you know, there's a free membership area over at findinggood.com where you can practice having conversations so that you can, can, can get better at connecting with other people. And so I do that. It's, it's like there's this practice that I have to have. Well, I don't have to, that I get to have because that insecurity leads me to and I, I wonder what the insecurity is about. Uh, I don't know. I don't think perhaps it's about, will they like me? Will they not like me? Perhaps it's about, am I going to ask a good question? Uh, you know, that's going to generate or start off a conversation that's going to be intriguing and fun. And so the insecurity might happen on many levels. And when I start feeling that way, I start recognizing that I need to go practice. I need to go do something. And that is also scary. So it's like, maybe like, I don't know what that has to, like the confident, where does the confidence come in? Because I'm thinking when I'm insecure, but I know I have to go do something, maybe right there, there's a little bit of confidence in in knowing if I go do this, then I will start feeling better about this insecurity and start to feel more confident. So it's almost like maybe the confidence scaffolds with the insecurity and it's this give and take. That's really interesting. I hadn't thought about it that way before, but I know that when I'm, when I make that change, when I shift, I start feeling better and that's, that's pretty darn cool. So I would love to hear from you. When was a time you were confident or better yet, when was a time you were insecure and you found confidence? That would be fantastic. These videos are going to be located in the playlist, how to be confident and not insecure. I'm Angela, and this is me making sense of myself.